2010 Margaret Brent Award recipient, Elizabeth Cabraser. In recommending Elizabeth for the Margaret Brent Award, one former partner at her law firm stated, there is something important and special when the acknowledged intellectual leader in a legal field and in a law firm is a woman. Although this shouldn't be a rare situation, it is. Knowing that the smartest person in the room is a woman, and that everyone else in the room knows this too, is empowering to all women. She is one of the most experienced and successful woman lawyers in complex class actions and mass tort litigation. This could be because her parents forgot to inform Elizabeth that there were things she couldn't do because she was a girl, or wouldn't be able to do when she became a woman. Finding out later that this was not a universal opinion, her obliviousness toward gender bias has taken her a long way. A founding partner of Leaf Cabraser Hyman and Bernstein LLP, Elizabeth has for over three decades dedicated her career to the representation of the injured, the disenfranchised, and the victims of catastrophes. She has represented over 300,000 women whose breast implants caused pain, injury, and permanent disfigurement when they ruptured prematurely. She has represented smokers and others impacted by the effects of cigarettes for over 17 years. The range of legal issues she faced was uniquely challenging and resulted in bringing over $260 billion back to state and local governments to defray the heavy public costs of treating tobacco-caused disease. And by representing victims of the Holocaust, their families and descendants, over $7 billion was recovered from Swiss banks and multinational corporations who cooperated with the Nazi regime. While Elizabeth believes that money does not buy or substitute for justice, these suits achieved acknowledgement and remembrance of past inhumanity and a commitment to a better future. These cases, along with hundreds of others, demonstrate Elizabeth's belief that the best way to guarantee success in rehumanizing the law is to feminize the law. By setting a prime example, leading the way in the still male-dominated plaintiff's mass tort practice, and by taking the time to speak directly to the next generation of lawyers, she has made it more likely that young women lawyers will pursue a legal career and thrive there. A friend, colleague, mentor, and role model, Elizabeth has seen the number of female partners at Leaf Cabraser increase to over 40%. However, her startling impact is also felt beyond the walls of her firm. There are numerous judges, civic leaders, and lawyers today who owe her a debt of gratitude for opening the doors for them to succeed. A founder and longtime coordinator of the ABA's National Institute on Class Actions, she has increased the national visibility of women attorneys by promoting their placement on institute panels. An accomplished academic, Elizabeth has published scores of articles in law reviews and commercial publications in her field, and has taught courses in complex litigation and mass torts at both Columbia Law School and her alma mater, UC Berkeley Bolt Hall School of Law. She teaches with humor and critiques without judgment. She is the best kind of teacher, at once a master and a student, informed yet open to new ideas. Elizabeth Cabraser truly marches to the beat of a different drummer. A lover of music and longtime collector of vintage drums, Elizabeth is now part owner in two different companies that design, manufacture, sell, and repair drums. But she is most comfortable behind a kit on stage whenever possible. Whether it's law or music, she loves to take things apart, see how they work, and see if they can be made to work better. Her stated professional goal is to continually improve as a lawyer. That's why it's called the practice of law, I guess, she jokes, and I have a lot more practicing to do. It is this steadfast dedication to the pursuit of justice that inspires us all to keep learning, keep improving. For her outstanding achievements and ongoing dedication to the law, the American Bar Association Commission on Women in the Profession is honored to present its 2010 Margaret Brent Women Lawyers of Achievement Award to Elizabeth Cabraser. <laughs>